Alright guys, welcome back. <laughs> this is Dark M on the mic. It's been three years, but we're back with more Yggdra Union. This is Battlefield 6. And uh, this map is not too difficult. Obviously, it's still very early in the game. But for the purposes of what I want to do, I would like to get all the items. So it's going to be a little bit more challenging. At least RNG-wise. First order of business, put the fur coat on Durant. He'll need it later. You'll see why later. As far as cards, you take whatever uh, is strong and decent movement. Take the flame, rev, should be fine. Okay. So, first order of business, we're going to use steel, move Milanor up here. Our main goal for this one is to take out the, uh, the two assassins, the bow users. Obviously, it's nice if we can win against the bandits, but if, uh, I mean, we're going to win against them no matter what. We're not going to be able to one-shot them, unless we crit them, obviously. But for the assassins, we just want to make sure we take those out. And since they're on uh, grass, there's no geo bonus defecting them, so they will take full damage. That should be an easy KO. Do some damage to this Undine. We're not going to be able to one-shot this one either, so whether we win or not, it's not of much consequence. Take her down to about half, that's fine. Let's build up a little meter and just go in. Again, uh, you'll notice that Yggdra is at three big attack stars. That's because of the MVP bonuses that we've been uh, prioritizing on her. And that makes a really big difference, as you can see in this matchup as the assassins only have one big star, so they do almost no damage to her. And the fact that you have the charge advantage is huge. Okay, so now that those are out of the way, let's move Durant down here for his one and only mission to recruit our resident Undine. Her name is Nietzsche. I think that's how you pronounce it. So she is basically a mermaid like the other Undines. She uses a spear even though it's technically like a trident, I guess. And she gains, like, water bonuses in the water and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and suspend. And then uh, this this next part is going to be kind of important that uh, everything goes okay. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move Yggdra out of the way because I don't want her to get in the way of that fight. So let's see what happens. That village is going to go down. We can't do any Nathans about that. But we don't really get anything for saving it either, so... it's kind of why we do that. Uh, this bandit's gonna gonna lose, so... We'll just keep hold our meter here. And just uh, wait it out. I'll win by one, but that's all I need. Because Thief is just so strong. Okay, that's good. 5 to 5 means I should win with my attack bonus. But I'll win oh so barely, but we don't want to dominate this victory because we want this Undine to live, so... Yeah, that's nice one-shot range right there. We want them kind of like in the... Th th anything between 5 to like 200 would be nice. Okay, so let's take the Shield Barrier for this turn. It'll give us the exact movement that we need to get the job done. So I'm going to move Nietzsche up to help fight. Make sure to stop on this Grass Square first. To get the uh, the healing herb, it's an item that we'll use later. Important to note that if you put uh, Nietzsche next to the enemy Undines, they won't attack her because she's still one of their own, so they're not like completely against her yet. So this is the formation that we want. We've got the good matchups all around, pretty much. And being an Undine, she is going to be immune to ice. So when they go into rage like this, you'll see the big X there. They're doing no damage, pretty much. Yeah, it's a pretty standard roll against Ortega. And Ortega's one tech usually means that he has a hard time countercharging, so... We'll take that. It's a good quarter of his life there. Not the best charge in the world, but we'll take it. I usually can do at least three... Or more. But 
Two is fine. Oh, wow. <laughs> Unnecessary crit. Uh, we would have won that without the crit because I'm on water. So when you're on water, that, that does happen. But eh, we'll take it. Other crits uh, anywhere else in the fight could matter, but because that bandit was probably going to die anyway, uh, with the power of shield barrier, it should be fine. Okay, so I'm going to suspend again. Okay. I, I was a little quiet there. <laughs> Because the last time I did this, uh, Milanor actually got crit, and that was that was pretty salty. And that can happen, but this bandit does need to die. We need to get him out. That can be a little scary. It's always scary when you're relying on winning against charges, because a lot of things can go wrong. Okay, so for this round, let's go with Sanctuary. Let's move Milanor back down. Swing back. Notice that we're wearing down all the units except for that one Undine, because that Undine is all the way at like 300 already, so. We don't really care if we hit that one yet. We're going to finish that one off in one turn. Got to soften up these other ones first. That's a good uh, range to be in. Easily one shot it there. Go all out on Ortega. You want to do as much damage to Ortega as possible, as he does have the most uh, life. Okay, Fiver is nice. That's the RNG that I was hoping for last time. And no reason to not hold back there. Just go all in. And again, that's a nice range. Anywhere between 500 or so is fine. It's a good level up for Milanor. Okay, so for the next part, this is the key part. This is where things can really go wrong. I'm going to trust Milanor to move over here. And he's going to have to bait there. Uh, him, Nietzsche, will be in a 2v3 on the enemy's turn. And for the purposes of this run, where I need to get all the items, I basically need to get lucky enough that I win. Well, it's not incredibly lucky. I, I should be favored more often than not, but you, things can happen. Especially because of the water tiles. So, I'm going to suspend here. And I'm going to... Attempt to win all three charges. And if I do, then the map is basically done. There's like almost nothing else that could go wrong at that point. So, um... Yeah, this might take a couple times, but uh... We'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. This first charge is going to determine a lot. It really determines like the pace of the, the whole fight. We'll pass it very briefly and then just go full ham. The sooner you end that one, the better. You'll see in a minute. Oh, that's perfect. So the reason you want to finish the first fight fast is because you want the second fight to start when the Undine is in Rage Bar. Because that means uh, Nietzsche is immune, so you get all that free time to attack. And that's what allows you to win that charge, more often than not. Oh, that's a great roll. That's exactly the roll I needed to, to round this out. And if I just don't let go of the, the aggressive meter, I should be able to barely win. Yes. I mean, usually he takes you down to two. But uh, that's a very important charge for you to win too, for the purposes of this uh, of this attempt. Because again, we want all the items. There you go. You see, all the Undines have medallions. This one has one too, and they drop it. Had uh, you killed this one and this one, I believe this one would move. So you want to make sure you kill these two. This one you could save for last. So I'm gonna go ahead and suspend once again. And again. I apologize, you know, I'm suspending a lot, but the way that I'm doing this, uh, it's, it's the easiest way. 
Okay, now that I've suspended again, I'm gonna go ahead and choose Revolution. I'm gonna need the movement afterwards. So if we if if everything goes right, and hopefully it does, we should exactly kill the Undine and kill Ortega while taking his item. Okay. Not the most exciting roll in the world. But 4 should be good. Again, only 450 morale, so not that big of a deal. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just stop right there. I don't need to dominate Ortega on this win. I just want to make sure I have meter for Milanor. Okay. Come on, Milanor. Yes! Yes! That's what we like to see, Milanor. Give me that. Stay down, son. Very nice. And there you go. That is the first half of Battlefield 6, obtaining all the items. He's going to pull back, drop his item, and then more storyline with the Undine. I'm, I'm not going to spoil it. You can go ahead and play through the game yourself and experience the story. I played through this game many times already. Okay, so a couple things that need to be done still. Uh, we have seven movements left. We want we want Milanor to take this, but then we also want one, two, three, four, five. We want to move Yggdra over here, and you'll see why in a little bit. But obviously, first I'm gonna suspend again. And again, we finished on uh, turn ten, so that's really important, and you're about to find out why. So I'm gonna move Milanor right over here. That'll claim the item, the Kill Blade. And that'll end this part of the level. The next part of the level is pretty short, but there are a couple items that we want to get. Here comes uh, reinforcements from the Imperial Army. So our goal here is to defeat Zilva, the assassin. You'll notice that there are two assassins there, along with two fencers. But because we, we positioned Yggdra there, uh, Yggdra gets a really good matchup against the fencer and Zilva's apprentice, Elena. Uh, so, Mil so as you can see, because we invested in MVP attack, Yggdra will win this pretty easily, even without me really doing anything. And it's, uh, I, I took that fight slow on purpose, because what we want to do is, we want to bypass the rage bar in this fight, because of the assassin's dark element, which kind of destroys us. But because Elena is pretty gimp right now and only has one star in attack, I run her over pretty easily, despite having a two-man disadvantage at the beginning. And that'll take her down pretty low. Enough for us to revenge kill her next turn. So that is that. Okay, so... That is pretty much the hard part of this, of this uh, map, as far as getting all the items. Again, because the medallions are on water, the enemy can't walk onto water and take them. So we can just leave them there. Actually, Nietzsche will probably end up picking them up as we finish this. Because she has to move on that anyway. But from here on out, whatever cards you want to use is completely up to you. Uh, again, we don't need the movement. Uh, you just obviously need enough damage to get the kills. But you, this is where you could probably spend some time like powering up certain cards. Like Flame, or Blizzard, or... Uh, Sanctuary and stuff like that. Banshee's Cry. Banshee's Cry is okay. Uh, I don't think I ended up using it in my other runs that much, though. It's a decent card with 8 movement, though. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and suspend here again. And then I'll decide on what card I'm going to use. I think I'm going to go with Blizzard. And what we're going to do is we're going to move... I'm going to move Nietzsche over, pick up the items. Medallion number one, medallion number two. And then we're going to attack in here. The reason is, is because Elena has a weapon that we want, and uh, Nietzsche should have the luck to, to make it drop. Uh, I don't really have to do much here. This, this is a pretty, pretty brain-dead fight. Another plus to moving Yggdra this far forward at this stage of the map it keeps the fencers on the grass. So you do a lot of damage to them. It's really, really convenient, actually. Okay, cool. So 
So let's go ham. Undine on water is basically free win. And you'll notice that we're still in the evening. It's not night yet. That's actually pretty important. Because if it was nighttime when we were doing this, I would not have survived that charge against Elena, most likely. Most likely. So there goes Elena. She's out. Yeah, so... From here... We want to move... The, the, the AI is actually pretty weird here. Uh, apparently, if I just move up one... And then end my turn... Zilva will move up... And they won't take the item. It's actually quite, quite awesome. <laughs> and again, we're still not at night, so... On their charge... They don't really get anything out of it. I'm going to kind of take a beating here because of the dark element. As you can see, my numbers start dropping. It's a little unfortunate. I should barely win this. Yes. It's good Yggdra management right there. Taking uh, all those stats for free when I can. And this fencer is basically tired of living, so he's going to suicide into me. But if I were to not move... Uh, Nietzsche where I moved her more than likely Zilva would move down and take the take the item and the item that uh, Elena drops is the more important of the two if you absolutely had to end the map uh, you could go without Zilva's item the steel persona I believe it's called but the gale bow is really really good so you'll want that Okay, so, and now we're finally on night, and this is the final turn that we'll need, uh, because we should be able to kill both of these in one go. So, again, let's suspend one more time. And again, this is a uh, choose whatever card you want to power up, and I, I, I like flame, so let's power up flame. And the main thing here is that... The main thing, we, well, we want to attack into Zilva so we can get both. And then we want to make sure that uh, uh, Milanor gets the final word. So just move him up one. Okay, yeah, nice. Let's go aggro. We want to damage her quite a bit because the fencer is going to die regardless, so... Should have enough meter to go all the way and finish her off. You can see in night she does way more damage. So that's why it's very important that we kill her when we do. And for this fight, again, don't really care. I'm just going to go ahead and build meter. And just sit on it. Because Milanor is going to go hyper aggro. We want him to win by as much as possible. To finish off Zilva, I'm only using 13 with some odd attack. But the no geo defense really helps too. Again, keeping them on the grass, very important. I should win by four. Yeah. And is that it? We are done. Well done, Milanor. Good job, everybody. So that is it. That is Battlefield 6 with uh, all of the items dropped. Oh. There we go. There's the item drop. And our heroes are left to ponder what happened. Okay, so, and according to plan, we got Yggdra MVP. Again, we want to continue to power up her weak stats. And Jen isn't really one of them. We wanted luck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to redo that last part where we suspended at the end and just keep trying rolling and rolling and rolling until I get luck. And then we'll move on to the next mission. So that is, again, Battlefield 6, normal mode, uh, getting all the medallions, all the boss items, and the MVP. Uh, plus two bonus so hope you guys learned something for that if you have any questions or comments leave it in below i do check all the time and this is dark m and look forward to the next map map seven and we'll see you then take it easy